Hi, Joe Haney here from IAC with another tip of the month. This is our third part uh, out of five for how moisture gets in your bag outs. You're welcome to go back and watch part one and two. We are assuming now that you've looked at your doors and access points, sealed those up, and you've chased down any leaks that are in your ductwork leading up to your bag house and sealed those up as well. You're still struggling with moisture in your bag house. Uh, the third reason that can happen is the actual cleaning system for the bag house itself. That includes the air manifold, blow pipes, uh, delivering compressed air down into your bag house. Um, the reality is, is that the clean air plenum or the top of a bag house is typically going to be cooler than the dirty air plenum. And a big reason for that is the compressed air used in the cleaning system. This is an example of what a diaphragm looks like. And if you can see inside, when it pulses, that diaphragm releases and delivers that high pressure compressed air down into the bag house. If your compressed air at your plant is not dry and clean, it will bring moisture and desiccant with it. If it does that, it will deliver it down the blow pipes and deposit it in the clean air plenum and in the filter bag itself. Uh, like we've talked about, bag houses don't like moisture, so that moisture can build up and start to cause problems uh, with the function and performance of those filter bags. So what do you do? Well, the first thing is a big problem. You have to confirm at your plant that you have dry compressed air. Uh, if you're struggling with that, we can do some more things with the bag house. We can put a purge valve on the air header that releases moisture uh, with, say, uh, a pulse valve every time it fires. Um, in line before that air header as well, we can put what's called a, a line filter uh, to pull out some of that moisture and desiccant. Uh, and those things are going to help try and get that moisture out uh, of your compressed air system before it's ever reaching the filters during a cleaning cycle. Uh, so we can talk to you about those things, we can help troubleshoot that, we can even help test filters if you think this part might be a problem in your bag house. So please let us know, there's a number at the bottom of the screen, call us, we'd like to talk about it. Uh, this is part three of our five part uh, why moisture gets inside your bag house. Uh, that's our tip of the month. I'm Joe Haney. Thanks for watching.